Since the previous video on duct tape, a lot of new products have hit the market. Some of these products claim to be 100 times stronger than other products. Are some of these products really just that good? Well, we're about to find out. In the first test, we're gonna be applying the tape to this piece of metal and then applying an upward force until it rips the tape in half. In the second test, we'll be evaluating the wrap strength of each product. In the third test, we'll be comparing the adhesive ability of each tape in a showdown event. In the final test, we're gonna see if we can use the strongest tape as a toe strap to pull this very heavy tractor up a slight grade. These duct tapes were tested in a previous video and then exposed to severe weather. In this video, we're gonna do some very quick testing on these products to see which brand is the best. Costing $6.59, we'll be testing the duct tape duct brand to see just how well it performs against other brands that have much more marketing hype. Apply an upward force until it rips the tape in half. Duck Brand took 44 pounds of pulling force to snap the tape on the first of five samples. The second sample took 48 pounds. The third stayed the same at 48. The fourth was only down one pound to 47. The fifth was down again slightly to 44. So very consistent results all between 44 and 48 pounds. Costing only $5.12, the Duck Max Strength includes a strength meter on the side of the packaging which shows this tape is all the way to the right as far as strength. The first was 71 pounds. The second was down slightly to 70. The third dropped to 69. The fourth stayed the same at 69. The fifth was up slightly to 71. Once again, very consistent results between 69 and 71 pounds. So what about the 3M brand? Costing $7.79, 3M claims that it makes a pro-strength professional industrial and HVAC duct tape. On the side of the 3M duct tape includes a chart which shows that it's four out of six regarding strength and four out of six regarding weatherability. So this product actually doesn't claim to be the strongest or the best. The first was 62. The next was up slightly to 63. The third stayed the same at 63. The fourth was down slightly to 62. The final one was down slightly to 61. Very consistent results again, all between 61 and 63 pounds. Duck Max is definitely a stronger tape, however, 3M seems to have more elasticity. We previously tested Gorilla and it did a great job. It's extra thick with extra stick. It's supposed to have a double thick adhesive, weather resistant, tough reinforced backing. Gorilla's off to a great start at 106 pounds. The second stayed the same at 106. The third was up slightly to 108. The fourth was back down to 106. The fifth and final was down slightly to 103. So very consistent results. Very impressive performance by Gorilla, beating both Duck as well as 3M, coming in at over 100 pounds to rip this piece of tape in half. Very few of the products we're testing claim to provide a permanent solution, but this one does. It's supposed to be a permanent Gorilla tape that's designed for all weather. It's supposed to resist drying, cracking, and peeling caused by sunlight, heat, cold, and moisture. Unfortunately, the adhesive let go before the tape rips, so what we're going to have to do is reinforce the tape around the edges to keep it from slipping. Gorilla Weather did great at 105. The second was down slightly to 101. The third was up slightly to 102. The fourth stayed the same at 102. The fifth was down again to 101. The Gorilla Weather Tape doesn't seem to be quite as strong as the regular Gorilla, but it's very close. It also seems to have a lot more elasticity to it than the regular Gorilla Tape. Costing $6.99, T-Rex claims to be a ferociously strong tape. Sure Tape manufactures both the Duck brand tape as well as T-Rex. T-Rex did very good on the first sample at 101. The second one is up a little to 105. The third was 106. 
The fourth was 101. The fifth was up again to 106. It looks like Gorilla has a slight edge over T-Rex as far as strength, but this test seems really sticky. I'm looking forward to testing just how sticky this tape is compared to the competition. Costing $14.99, more than twice as much as a regular T-Rex, is this T-Rex brute force actually better? It claims to be ferociously strong tape, the strongest. It's a high performance duct tape. Wow, very impressive. 250 pounds and the tape broke free from the metal. So we're gonna have to reinforce this and see if we can find a way to rip this tape in half. This stuff is pretty strong. I'll add a little bit more tape to secure both ends and we'll try this again. Wow, 278 pounds and the tape slipped. Very impressive. Wow, 442 pounds and the tape still didn't break. That's more than four times as much as the other brands. The Turn Proof Force is definitely not marketing hype. This stuff is pretty strong at over 400 pounds. Very impressive. If you're looking for a stronger duct tape, should you consider Fiber Fix? It claims to be 10 times stronger than duct tape. And Fiber Fix is off to a great start at 221 pounds. Very impressive performance by Fiber Fix, putting up some pretty big numbers but definitely not as strong as the T-Rex Brute Force. The second was up slightly to 227 pounds. Since the tester has proven to be incredibly reliable, we're gonna stop at two samples since it's taking a lot of tape to secure both ends of the fiber fix to the tester. I have to admit, I'm very impressed with fiber fix, over 220 pounds of force to split this in half. And as you can see, it's highly elastic. So even once it starts to fail, this weaving is very strong. I put together a new test jig just to see if we could figure out just how ferociously strong this brute force tape is. So let's give it a test. Very impressive performance, over 450 pounds to rip the brute force into two pieces. There are several things to consider when selecting the right tape for a job. If it's all about the tensile strength, T-Rex Brute Force totally dominated the competition delivering over 450 pounds of tensile strength. Fiberfix came in second place with a very respectable 224 pounds. Gorilla, Gorilla Weather, and T-Rex were all in a virtual tie at just over 100 pounds and very well matched with a very good adhesive. Duck Max, 3M Pro Strength, and Duck didn't deliver nearly the strength but those tapes aren't nearly as thick and might be a better choice for some applications where thickness is a factor more than strength. In order to test the wrap strength of each product, one and a quarter inch plastic pipes were cut into four foot sections. Then marks were placed on each pipe beginning one foot from the end of the pipe. The pipes were then cut into two pieces. The pipes were cleaned with rubbing alcohol prior to the tape being applied. Pipes are wrapped three times directly on top of the cut. Then wrap three times to the left of the cut, three times to the right of the cut, and finally three times directly over the center of the cut again for a total of 12 wraps. The tapes were then tested 12 hours after they were repaired with tape. Costing $11.46, we're also going to be testing the FiberFix repair wrap. Now we can't use this in all tests just because it's not designed for the type of testing we'll be doing, but we are going to be testing it on a wrap pipe to see how much strength it provides compared to these other tapes. Fiberfix was placed into water for around 12 seconds, then wrapped tightly around the pipe and allowed to fully cure before testing it the next day. In the next test, we'll be testing the wrap strength of each one of the tapes. So what I'll do is insert the pipe into the pipe holder and use 25 pounds on top of the pipe, beginning with where the crack is located all the way out to the very end of the pipe until each one of the pipes fails. Okay, so we went eight inches out on the pipe with duck. Okay, duck max also failed at eight inches. Okay, 3M failed at nine inches. To prevent the steel chain from sliding down the pipe, I added a little bit of tape to the chain to give it some grip. Even though Gorilla is a really strong tape, the sideways force caused the tape to split. As we saw in the previous test, Gorilla Weather is extremely flexible and because of that, the tape hasn't ripped, but it has stretched beyond providing structural support for this pipe.
T-Rex actually held up, but unfortunately the adhesive did not, causing the failure. It took nine inches out from the base in order to rip the tape. Okay, with fiber fix, it went out 11 inches before the adhesive slipped. So for a pipe wrap, this product provides a lot of structural support. Wow, we're at the very end of the pipe and it didn't break. We're gonna have to add more weight and we'll come back and see if we can make this tape break. Okay, I added a template for a total of 35 pounds. We're going to start out at 12 inches since we know that it can handle at least this much weight. Okay, we're at the end of the pipe with 35 pounds. Is this thing going to take more weight? Well, we're about to find out. We're up to 45 pounds. We're going to see how far we can go. inches at 45 pounds very impressive totally destroying the competition this is what caused the failure it looks like a tear this product is extremely strong and the duct tapes we've tested t-rex brute force has by far the strongest tensile strength the fiber design within the tape just doesn't provide much strength all these duct tapes are designed to have tremendous tensile strength but when it comes to the strength that's designed from side to side they just do not have very much strength in the next test we're going to see just how well these duct tapes actually stick how good is their adhesive ability in order to do this we're going to take a 10 pound plate attach it to the tape we're going to then take the tape and run up the length of this table and then tilt the table until each one of these 10 pound plates breaks free. We'll be testing four tapes at a time. After we test the first four tapes, we'll move on to the second four tapes. The winner of each round will advance and then we'll see which tape has the best adhesive ability. The table has been cleaned with brake parts cleaner, so this is extremely clean. There isn't any sort of oily residue on the table. I'll be using a hard rubber roller with 30 pounds on it to apply an equal amount of pressure to all the tapes we'll be testing to ensure we don't have any tapes that get an unfair advantage. I'll run the hard rubber roller across the tape five times. The first two events test the fiber design and strength of each of the tapes, but this next event will compare the adhesive strength of each tape. Duck is on the left, then 3M, then T-Rex, and Fiber Fix is on the right. The 10 pounds of weight is beginning to take its toll on Duck brand as it is beginning to slip. 3M is the next to begin slipping, then Fiber Fix. T-Rex isn't budget, but it seems to be leaving a trail of adhesive on the table. And it's T-Rex for the win. T-Rex will compete against the winner of the next round. Duck Max is on the left, then Gorilla Weather, then Gorilla, and finally T-Rex Brute Force is on the right. The tape lineup is now set for the second round of competition. Both Duck Pro and T-Rex Brute Force are slipping at nearly the same time. The Gorilla tapes are taking advantage of their double thick, double stick capability. Gorilla is the third to lose traction and Gorilla Weather isn't budging. The race is essentially over for both Duck Max and T-Rex Brute Force and it all comes down to which of the two Gorilla tapes will face off against T-Rex. Gorilla is now really beginning to slip as Gorilla Weather demonstrates a very impressive adhesive ability and it's Gorilla Weather for the win. Gorilla Weather is on the left and T-Rex is on the right. In the tensile strength test, T-Rex demonstrated slightly more strength than the Gorilla Weather. In the pipe wrap test, Gorilla Weather demonstrated slightly more stretch. With an extra five pounds for a total of 15 pounds in this next showdown, which brand is going to stick the best? Gorilla Weather is the first to begin slipping but it's not giving up. Wow, T-Rex is suddenly on the move. Oh no, Gorilla Weather suddenly lost grip and it's T-Rex for the win. I went ahead and applied the duct tape to some brand new plexiglass. I went ahead and peeled the plastic coating that's on the plexiglass off so the surface was really clean and then I applied each one of the duct tapes. Now once these products are exposed to the sun it's going to have a huge impact on the adhesive material as well as the duct tape itself so we'll see how each of these products does. Just a quick look at the tape that's been exposed to the weather for around a year. This is Harbor Freight, this is Polykin Gaffers, T-Rex, Gorilla, Flex, Hurricane, this is just Duck. This isn't the Duck Max. Nashaw 357. As you can see, Harbor Freight did not do too well. There's not much left of this tape. A little bit of the fabric underneath, but it's just left a big mess. We're going to peel off this Polykin tape and see what's underneath. As you can see, this is pulling up very easily. Not a whole lot of strength left. The weather tore this stuff up pretty bad. How about T-Rex? 
Okay, there's a lot of force required to pull this tape up. It's not coming up very easily. Okay, this tape is still glued very well to the plexi. All right, let's see Gorilla. Gorilla just did not hold as well after all the weather exposure. The adhesive underneath has become extremely brittle and is crumbling. All right, Flex is just not gonna come up. Flex is definitely sealed up against this plexiglass and is not going to move. Okay, how about the hurricane tape? Actually, hurricane tape is doing pretty good. It actually held up fairly well. It's not as sticky as T-Rex, but it's still a decent tape. We had a hard time getting this tape to stick when we first applied it, but over time, the adhesive has really begun to bond with the plexiglass. Obviously, duct tape didn't do too well. Not a whole lot left of this. How about Nashaw 357? All right, that's coming up without much force at all. So this stuff did not hold up as well as Gorilla. Definitely not as well as T-Rex. About the same as Polykin Gaffer's tape. Okay, we'll be using T-Rex Brute Force to see if it can tow this tractor. There are many ways to look at value, and this perspective only takes into consideration tensile strength. While T-Rex Brute Force does cost more, it delivers significantly more tensile strength than the competition. So each foot of T-Rex Brute Force delivers 23 pounds of tensile strength per penny, a much better value than the rest of the brands. T-Rex came in second at 16, 3M Pro Strength and Duck Max at 14, Fiber Fix and Gorilla at 13, and Gorilla Weather at 8. So which product won this showdown, and which product is the best? Well, that really depends on what you're looking for. Fiberfix Wrap did a great job regarding wrap strength, but it's also very expensive, possibly more expensive than a lot of repairs I would have to make with it. Now, regarding tensile strength, it's hard to argue that T-Rex Brute Force isn't the best. We towed a tractor with the tape. It's pretty impressive. Regarding the best all-around duct tape, I would have to say that my favorite is T-Rex. It did extremely well after being exposed to the weather elements for a year, did very good in the adhesive testing, and had almost as much strength as Gorilla. So altogether a great brand. With that being said, I like Gorilla a lot and we haven't had a chance to see how Gorilla Weather does after a year of exposure to the elements. So do you think it's worth doing another video on duct tape, this time seeing how the brands we just tested will hold up after a year of exposure to harsh elements? If you'd like to see that video, please leave a comment and let me know. All my videos are viewer suggested, so I really look forward to reading your comments and replying to as many of you as possible. I'm also looking forward to your other video ideas. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.